What is going on Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs and today we're going to continue on with our um, war pa pack wars and that is between Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism. These awesome booster pack wars I've had going on for a while. Um, the first series was a success. You guys love them so much I had to go ahead and bring them back. And so far, so good. We've, got, we've had a couple of good pulls in the previous episodes. If you guys want to go ahead and watch those videos, I'm going to put them up here somewhere in an annotation card. And you guys hopefully will go ahead and watch them um, and have fun with it. Anyway, today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and of course, as always, we're going to pick up two packs. Two packs from the right, as we usually do, and two packs from the left, okay? And then we'll put the booster packs right over here. And hopefully we'll get something cool in these four little packs. This is something I usually do as a quick snacky episode. And that's what I've been calling my episodes that are really short. Uh, usually within five minutes or so. For those of you who don't want to be watching this 10, long, 10, 10 minute long videos. Uh, and if you guys, by the way, uh, the giveaway announce, announcement was going on for yesterday. For the giveaway I had previously going on. So if you guys haven't get, got a hold of me yet. All you got to do is go ahead and get a hold of me on my social media links. And uh, I'll be giving you your cards if you guys for some reason haven't uh, gotten a hold of me. I usually like to make an, an a announcement afterwards, maybe the second video after the giveaway announced, announcement happened. Just in that way you guys be um, on point. And for those of you maybe who did not get to watch the video, you guys will be reminded of that. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and open up this packs. And while I'm doing this, I want to let you know that the code code winners are going to be down in the description box below. If you happen to see your name down below, whether it's your real name or your channel's name, all you have to do is get a hold of me on my social media links. All the links are good will be provided to you in the description box below this video as well as in the screen right now. And you guys, all I have to do is get a hold of me there and tell me, hey, I want some code cards and I'll be sending your code cards right away. All right, guys, today's question of the day is let me know which one is your favorite psychic Pokemon out of Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism. Let me know in the comment section below for the question of the day and I'll be picking up three winners for tomorrow's video. All right, so today we're going to start with Forbidden Light here on the left. Hopefully we can go ahead and grab ourselves something cool. Uh, it's been pretty uh, weird with Forbidden Light. It's been pretty... I don't know. I, I, I Honestly, I do these episodes uh, in between in between so much that sometimes I do forget what I've actually pulled. So I have to kind of like watch my own video <laughs> to refresh my memory. Uh, but I think Forbidden Light gave us something good on this um, war so far. I don't know. You guys can tell me down below if I'm wrong. But we'll see. Hopefully we can get something awesome at least out of these four packs. If not, we have plenty of more chances to actually do that. And then Porter and Auroras. That's a reverse hollow rare. Okay, that's not too bad. So we didn't get completely skunk. And a Malamar. So that's a very good, very good card, actually. So not too shabby whatsoever. Let's go ahead and do a Giratina Ultra Prism. So now that I have two Ultra Necrozma my gold cards, um, I'm wondering if ever I'm ever going to be able to pull the gold Solgaleo or Lunala. Um, I don't know. Honestly, it would be nice. Uh, but being that I have two alternate crossmas, that's really awesome. By the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the second one. Whichever one looks the best, I'm going to get it graded. And that'll be my first grading of a card. Uh, I make make a video. I may not. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I do think I want to get that graded, the second one at least. The one will stay with my set just because I love to have... Hey, there we go. A Shaman. I love to have um, every single gold card, any single, every single um, secret rare in my binder. So, pretty awesome. Super excited to do that. But hopefully the gold card will come out of this side of Ultra Prism. And I don't know if it will, honestly, because I think we pulled a Volkner, was it, that we pulled out of here? I don't know. I, again, I'm really confused. Um, I don't know. I think, it, I think it was out of the second opening, I think. But anyway, Keybone, Froakie, Krogunk. Esper, Bunnelby, Hoopa, Lysandra Labs, oops, skipping cards here, a Mesprit, Crasher Wake, and a Vivian, regular rare. So, um, yeah, who's excited for the shiny Charizard coming up uh, eventually? Um, definitely excited, but I don't know if we're going to ever be able to pull that. That 500, I guess almost five, 590, between 590 and 600 dollars is currently going in Japan for right now. Uh, that's insane. That is completely nuts. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we can pull something awesome when that set ever shows up here in the U.S. But definitely Japan is killing it with that card. I've seen some listings on eBay going for like eight, nine hundred dollars. Insane, insane. Here's a Mars 
an Execute Reverse Hollow Common, and a Shaman. Oh my goodness, we got completely skunked out of this one. Well, not too bad, I guess, because we did get a pretty nice looking Shaman Hollow. And a couple of Reverse Hollow rare, uh, Rares right here, which is a Bassidon Auroras. And a beautiful Malamar, which we can use in the Ultra Necrozma deck. So, if you guys like this little short video, hey, all you gotta do is give me a like. And let me know it's awesome. If you don't, for some reason, give me a dislike and let me know what you want me to improve on so we can make things better for you guys. But please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because as you guys just noticed, yesterday's video, it was about a year away. And once November 1st comes up, I will be announcing the other one, which will be going until November 15th and so on and so forth. You guys, I'm pretty sure at this point got the idea. But anyway, that's basically it. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. You've listened and watching open TCGs. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Thank you.